Hello and welcome back to our question app. When we left off in the last video, I promised that in this video we would start separating some concerns. I would like to start by first taking a look at card.pug and noticing that we have here some repeated code. We have our doc type declaration, header, and a footer. Down here in index.pug, same thing, we have our doc type declaration, a header, and a footer. So, those things, even though I'm noticing I have two different in our head, let's see, we have this head, it's question app. Usually the head stays the same. We come back over here, and then this would stay like that, and then save that. Header usually also stays the same. Let us uh, switch this header back to question app. Footer equal question app over here should be the same. P equal question app. So now what I'm saying will make more sense. Usually we separate these concerns, you know, so that our card.pug file will only contain card.pug code. Same thing with index. It should only contain index code. Well, what does that mean? Well, in our views, let's create a file and we're going to call it layout.pug. Next, we want to take all the code that is repeated. So we have our doc type declaration here, all the way with the hooder and whatnot. Take that, paste it there in our layout, and then our footer as well, since footer says cool question app. So we're going to take that here, erase that, paste it there. So now we have in our layout our header and our footer with the doc type declaration. What we can do is first in index, we want to extend this template to our layout. So extends layout.pug. Same thing with our card. We're going to erase all this stuff and here extends layout.pug. Next, in our layout.pug, here we're going to include block content. This will make sure that anything that extends the, this layout will insert that content there. So index.pug will extend this here and insert this in the middle of here. But we're forgetting one thing and that is here block content. We'll move that back, this back. Now with that block content keyword, our layout will be inserted there. So same thing here, right there, we'll do block content and same thing. This will go here, one back, one back, everything one back. So we save that and there's still something that we can do here. We could separate this out even more. It might not seem like a big deal now, but if your site or app got hundreds of pages in it, then this would be helpful. Within views, we will create another folder. We'll call these includes. Could also call it partials, but let's do includes. We got this folder in here. We'll create two files, header.pug and footer.pug. We could go back to our layout, take our header, cut that, go to the header, paste it there, save, and then back to our footer, take that, paste that, save. Now if we go back to our layout, we go back right under the body where our where our header was and we include it there by simply include includes slash header.pug and then right under here include includes slash footer.pug and I'll insert it there. We could save this. So with that done, everything should be working now. If we simply go node app.js, clearly listening, if we open up Chrome, we should be able to go to all the same routes and everything should look the same. We have question app or cool question app. Let's go to slash cards or I spelled pug wrong. Card.pug. Well, let's go back there. Layout.pug. Save. 
turn off the server, turn it back on. You guys could be using Nodemon. I just did it that way. Go back. There's question app. Let's go to slash cards. Stayed the same. We have our header and our footer. And then there's that content. So everything did stay the same. I'm going to go ahead and stop this one for now right here. And just because there's a, a good amount of stuff to take in. And I was including partials into your project. This allows us to separate concerns and it's so much cleaner to be able to look at this layout and see that here's our layout. We have our doc type declaration then we have our header here then we have the content which will inject here whichever template we create and we want to be able to let use this layout we can't by we understood was this include that allows us to include a file and then block content such as in card and in index we'll be able to insert this within our layout and same as an in index we'll be able to insert this because they use that block content keyword so if you guys understand that you're getting the main point of this lesson in the next lessons we'll continue separating out some concerns such as routes we'll handle routes much better but for now just get this part we'll also be uh, just doing a quick login with a name and then it'll, you'll be greeted by your dashboard saying hello and your name and then we'll build it out from there for now understand partials and includes if you get that you got this lesson and you're getting these lessons so far make sure to share like and subscribe if you found these videos helpful and i'll see you in the next lessons